Hi, I'm Kasumi Higewake. I'm from God International School and I'm the director for Running to Stop the Traffic KL. Our vision is a world free from modern day slavery and human trafficking. We are an organization by young people for young people fighting for this vision. RTST seeks to make educational platforms for students to learn about modern day slavery and further organizes a multitude of endurance events such as the 24 hour races in order to collectively group talented and young students to fight against modern day slavery. Children as young as five, men and women are being trafficked every day. This could include rape or being exploited for labor in which human rights are being violated. The 24-hour races are driven entirely by the spirit, energy, and dedication of students. Groups of students form teams and run a continuous relay for 24 hours. They are sponsored for every lap they run, raising funds and awareness to benefit anti-slavery charities. From its humble beginnings, the race has grown from a fundraising event to address slavery to an event which empowers young people to feel they can truly make a difference. The first race started in 2010 in Hong Kong before expanding by demand to Singapore with the 12 hour race. This year, the 12 hour race is becoming 24 and Kuala Lumpur will host its own 24 hour race. These races are a reflection of a wider movement of students coming together to address problems of slavery. When the moment comes, you say, Join us and help end modern day slavery. You can do this by downloading the Run for Freedom RTSD app on the Google Play Store. And for every person that takes the quiz and shares it via social media, Frog Asia will be donating one ringgit to us. You can also contact us through kl at 24hourrace.org and also read about us at www.24hourrace.org. We are from SMK SBS. We are Different is a different experience other than other runs, you know, because we have to start with the funding and stuff. I think it's important to recognize that there are there are other people out there who aren't as aren't as uh, well off as you. Yeah. So you you know you need to respect that. I think a race like this. I mean, I mean everyone around here is privileged. Yeah, I mean, exactly. Like, and I, I think too. yeah, exactly. And I think that there are people out there in this world who don't have the luxuries that we do. And I think this this race helps us recognize that yeah. and raise awareness for that. And I think that's key in a world like this. Sometimes that it can be really stressful. But it takes a lot of organization, and even when you put a lot of time into it, it may not always be that. But it was wondering, that was amazing. It's been a journey, it's been great, and it's good to know that we're actually finally here. Yeah, there's been a lot of build up to it, it's very exciting. Thanks. Can I ask you a person's earrings, considering it goes on to the next and working as a team, collaborating. I feel like our team is definitely going to learn, learn more about our teamwork and also definitely more about human trafficking and what kind of situation the people who are getting suffered are facing. We committed because we'll be like rotating our shifts for like 24 hours, gonna be tiring, we won't get much sleep, but hopefully we can all persevere through it together, work together and make this event a success. This is the run and the uh, entertainment at night, which is the paper plane pursuit. So should I do a bit with the other uh, well, For me, maybe it's just the experience. It's really cool actually being here, like all these schools all working together, going around. Um, and it's really cool to also get 